Mr. Jim Davis, we regret to inform what? Jim, how, how many beers did I have? I had two beers, right? Yeah. I'm going to be going fucking blind or something. This letter says, quoting, no longer eligible for a police officer candidate. What the fuck does that mean? What does it sound like? They're no longer eligible? They pulled the plug, no, Mark. No, no, why? Why? I bet you it's because I'm white. But it's because you're a dick. No, Mike. <laughs> you don't understand. I am fucked. I've got to get married. Immigration won't let me bring Martha across unless I've got employment. This fucks up my plan. This is fucking bullshit. These fucking cocksuckers, these fucking dicks, man. Oh, fucking, fucking assholes, man. Fucking typical cop hacking bullshit. Oi, oi, chill, vanilla gorilla. Hey, man, what the driven, fuck dude? are you looking at? Do you want some? Oi, Jim. Oi, Jim. Take huh? back, dude. Huh? Need fuck, to get the fuck out of here. I have a fiance waiting for me in a hotel room who's going to be crushed when he finds out. So you make love to me? And then you go back to your husband? Was that part of your plan? No. Was that part of the test no. I didn't pass? No, I made a promise to a man. He gave me a ring and I gave him my word. Well, your word's shot to hell now, don't you think? I, I don't know. I'll find out when I talk to him. It's not about keeping your promises and it's not about following your feelings. It's about security. What is that supposed to mean? The money. What? He's got lots of money. Now I hate you, you smug bastard. Well, I hate you. If you leave here, I hate you. Have Paying attention to anything that's been happening? I guess not. I guess I misread all signals. I guess you did. You're bored, Ellie. You're bored and you know it. You wouldn't be here if there wasn't something missing. Arrogant son of a bitch. Will you stay with me? With you? What for? Look at us. We're already fighting. That's what we do. We fight. You tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch and I tell you when you're being a pain in the ass, which is 99% of the time. I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings. You've got like a two second rebound rate and then you're back doing the next pain in the ass thing. Here's an idea. Why don't you invite Paolo around for a little rump in the sack and I'll stand in the corner and tell knock-knock jokes. Okay, Ross, listen. What you and I have is special. All Paolo and I ever had was... What? What? Animal sex? Meaningless animal sex? Come on, you know, you're telling me there's not even a little bit of animal sex between us and even, like, you know, chipmunks. Like... Okay, Ross, try and hear me, okay? Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was good with Paolo. Oh, knock-knock! But what you and I have is so much better. I mean, we have tenderness, we have intimacy, we connect. I swear, this is the best I have ever had. Until now. Ah, uh, you see? That's it right there. Unreal. He probably says solo most days. No battling for ways, no proving himself to anyone. That is it right there, man. How does he even know how good he is, bro? I mean, uh, I'd, I'd get bored. Who cares? Seriously, who cares? He's living the dream and what are we doing? We're pounding up and down this coast selling shit.